Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing good. Let's discuss some of the OTP activities in Tega in this video. Kindly please do subscribe the channel Bell Meet Krishna so that you won't be missing any one of the video. If possible, click on bell icon. Let's get started with our topic. So this video is all about extension of my previous video OTP activities part one. If you missed it, please go through it. So here I have added uh, some more nine OTP activities that are useful. So first is like remove ticket. We know like uh, tickets we can do uh, by setting OBJ set ticket and we have OTP activity as well. So in the same method we have something called as remove ticket also. So if you want to remove a ticket from a work object, you can just call this particular OTP activity remove ticket. In parameters you can set this. Uh, ticket name. So where it is used is uh, one of the example uh, in uh, reopen work object. This particular remote ticket is used. You can see here remote ticket. Okay. Next action change class. So action change class is one of the OTB activity that is present in uh, work dash class. And this actually updates the class of a work item. So when we do a production change class, then this particular uh, class of the work item will be uh, updated. And next is resume flow. So this particular resume flow is also there in work dash. This is final activity and uh, resume flow actually performs a flow action. And this is, is very useful when you are processing assignments through agents. So you know right SLA service level agreement. So in uh, service level agreements, you can resume the flow once it is reached deadline, goal or pass deadline. Then uh, instead of uh, doing manual jobs, you can just uh, refer resume flow over there. So that after that uh, respect to uh, goal or deadline, whatever you have configured is done, the flow will be resumed. This is the OTB activity behind it. Next is two work list. So this particular two work list activity is present in work dash class. This basically, if you want to route an assignment to a specific operator, you can use that uh, particular uh, OTP activity. And in flows also, when uh, you have configured an assignment, you can configure like a custom and then you can give this a two work list and you can specify the particular operator. You can see here the parameters are operator and this is check availability. So this is a boolean flag. Basically, this is nothing but our operator ID availability we check in right in that one. So here you can see right available from. So this particular operator is available to receive work. So this particular flag you can send from this to work list. Next is update status. Update status is one of the OTB activity to update uh, status of a work item. And uh, this particular can be called in various places like work new assign, work new work basket. Based on our requirement, if you want to update a status of the work object or work item, you can use this update status activity. Next, PX transfer assignment. PX transfer assignment, uh, you have uh, many parameters like assignment ready, destination type, where it's a work list or a work basket, destination name. So this is the name of the work list or a work basket name. Audit note, update history, update SLA. Previous activity we have discussed is two work lists. That is only to a work list, but uh, if you want to use one activity and you want to pass the parameter based on your requirement whether it would be a work list or a work basket then you can use this px transfer assignment activity next pz get data pages so you want to see what are the data pages uh, that are present to your application so you can use this uh, pz get data pages so it's px get data pages so this is an automation rule that is available but if you see the implementation indeed it will call this uh, activity pz get data pages this particular activity actually calls a list of the data pages that are present in the 
application. So this can be accessed via this automation tool, PX get data pages. So this automation tool also I will be making a one video in future. Next, add new operator record. As we know that operator IDs will be stored under data admin operator ID class. This particular activity is also present over there, add new operator ID. So you have a requirement to create an operator ID by passing some Gmail or something. Okay. Uh, and you want to pass the operator type as well. Then you can call this uh, add new operator ID. This uh, particularly creates a uh, new operator ready instance. Because here you can see right, call add new operator. This is one of the main activity where we will be creating a new operator. So this ends up this video. If you find any more interesting uh, OTB activities, you can list down. Hope you have learned a new concept. Thanks for watching this video. Please share this around your friends and pack enthusiastic and support my channel.